Hey guys, welcome back. I know it's been uh, a while since I made a video, but uh, actually October. But uh, today I'm going to go over uh, a couple things that are flawed with the A rig. Um, not necessarily as a bait itself, but in the use of the bait. Alright, so today I went out on the water and I fished for probably about five hours. About 90% of that time was spent throwing this A-Rig. Now, when you want to throw the A-Rig in kind of clear uh, to little bit dingy water, um, depending on which type of A-Rig you're throwing. And today, visibility was about three feet, um, but we couldn't find the fish. Uh, and that leads me to the number one thing that's flawed in the concept of the A-Rig. Everybody thinks that the A-Rig is this catch-all bait, you know, you just throw it out there, catch a fish, super easy, right? When in fact, you have to throw it at the right time, the right place, and you know, there has to be fish in the area. So you gotta find the fish first. Um, it will help you in finding fish uh, and if that's all you want to throw and you find the fish all, all the power to you but uh, a lot of a lot of people use it to find fish and if they get on that pattern of um, a swim bait or something they'll just keep throwing it which is you know it's not bad but you know there's five hooks five swim baits your chances of hooking a fish are greater with the greater number of hooks so people feel confident in using it, but where the flaw comes in is, like in my situation today, not necessarily saying that I'm doing this, but when people spend five hours, six hours, seven hours throwing something this heavy, this all together is probably about an ounce, when, when you spend that much time throwing that bait, you get tired, you get fatigued, you don't want to throw it anymore. So you lose that confidence. Um, a lot of people spend hours and hours and hours just throwing this thing around. And, you know, it's going to catch fish eventually. But for those people that are, you know, fish now, fish here, or on limited time of fishing, they want to catch fish. This unless you are 100% sure in yourself that you are going to catch fish on this bait, you need to just set it down. Um, if you feel like this is the bait you need to throw at that time, then so be it. But uh, I heard, I was watching a video today and one guy said, you know, I, you have to throw this thing for eight hours plus. Um, to get one bite. It's not true. You can throw it in the right situation, get bites on it, but if you're throwing it for eight hours and you're just a regular angler, you're not gonna wanna pick it up again if you're not getting bit. That's just the thing. But in my case today, there weren't really fish around, so I wasn't really worried about it. We were trying to locate fish all day, didn't find any fish, um, and it was a new spot, so I wasn't too worried about it. I will continue to throw this and I will continue to uh, try and catch a fish on it. I still haven't caught an A-Rig fish, and a lot of you are going to be like, well, then why are you talking about the A-Rig? Well, I want to give you my experience. So uh, I'll, I'll tell you what I threw it on today. It was the uh, ALX Ico Series rod, uh, the Thunder rod, which is a heavy rod uh, rated about... Uh, half an ounce to two ounces and about 12 to 25 pounds of line. Um, it's a really good rod in that it's long enough to where you're going to be able to make those long lobbing casts with it. It's seven six and then I've got it paired with a, a smaller reel just to lighten the uh, the weight of everything because throwing this bait and this heavy rod all day uh, even though the rods light uh, the bait just back and forth back and forth made me sore so to help lighten the uh, Lighten the load a little bit. I have a, a 13 fishing reel to 6 6 to 1 
with a 17 pound line on it. And the reason I went 17 pound is because the water we were fishing was fairly clear. And you know, uh, on moving baits, it really doesn't matter too much. But to me, it mattered enough that I was just a little bit lighter line. Um, and really, I didn't know what to expect. So I don't know if I'll be moving up to a, a 20 pound test or just staying at the 17 because it's really, you know, three pounds different. I did get it snagged um, a handful of times. I pulled up a tree with it. So this 17 pound P-Line Tactical is probably the best fluorocarbon I've used. Um, and I'm not sponsored by them. I, I am partnered with ALX, as you can tell. And so if you want to get one of these rods, head on to the link uh, in the description below, alxrods.com. And you can uh, pick yourself up one of these rods if you're looking into getting into a rig fishing. Um, other than that, leave a comment down below. Let me know your experiences with an A-Rig or if you even throw it. And if you choose not to throw it, let me know why. Why, why wouldn't you try, you know, something with five hooks on it? Now, in some states, it's, you know not legal you're only allowed to have two three hooks and then the rest are on there are teasers but let me know your experience with it and why you wouldn't want to fish this catching machine as it's so called um, called the a-rig now on a few other notes there are different types of a-rigs um, and what i mean by types is uh, some have blades some don't have blades some have um, lighter wire, some have heavier wire. I think the one I have right now is a uh, Profound Outdoors A-Rig. It's got thick wire, and I actually ended up breaking one of the wires off um, because I was trying to bend it back and it just kind of fell off. Um, so you want to go with a wire that's going to give you that, that pulsing action whenever you bump the rod or give it a real twitch. You know, something that's going to set yourself apart from the other people's just casting and retrieving this thing. So I think I'm going to go with a different A-Rig setup. Um, I do have the Kytex on here with 8th ounce jig heads. Um, so I think I'll keep that the same, but the A-Rig itself I might go in a different direction just because I don't like this heavy wire stuff. But if you have anything else to add, leave them in the comments below. If this video was helpful to you, hit that like button. Please share this video, and we'll catch you next time. Thanks for watching.